size drop down from 100. But you can see the speed generated by the 100. The vibration of my boiler <laughs> monstrosity, not the actual turbine. It's actually my pressure gauge that's got no bezel glass, so. Let it run right down and we'll see the spin down. It's 10 PSI now in the tank. So generating your uh, steam with the sun, you would be able to add magnification if you required more hot spots on your actual boiler. That's the premise of this machine, is not to have a gas-fired stove underneath your boiler. But an efficient pellet burner or something like that might be able to generate your heat. To uh, give you a constant output pressure, just like a steam kettle or a whistle on a train. Quite smooth, actually. Quite impressed with that one. We'll be off to the mail in the morning. And spin down. It doesn't really matter on the angle of the actual Tesla turbine because. The bearings are supporting all the discs and basically sandwiching them in between so that they don't have anywhere to go. And uh, it uh, acts as a quite a good gyroscope when it's spinning very fast. So, drain the rest of the steam out. And we'll keep letting it. We have 22 seconds left, so I don't think we're going to get the full spin down, but we'll have a three holes to tap to block the other side so we have a one-sided exhaust to increase speed and that's it it's off to Paris France and sorry EI don't have time to make it look pretty 